What's up, everybody? Hey. How you guys doing? It's going to be a pick a card reading, and this is going to be the NSYNC pick a card reading. So, I'm excited about this how do they feel about you version because I loved NSYNC growing up. I wasn't a Backstreet Boys girl. I was an NSYNC girl, okay? So, I know all the songs, all the little music or whatever. So, usually how this works is if I'm getting a message clear audiently over and over and over again, I'll typically, like, write it down. I'm like, okay, well, I want to do NSYNC. Because um, one of the songs, I kept hearing it repeatedly, and I also had a dream about it today too so i'm like okay well i'm gonna do that and any other nsync song that comes to me i'm gonna write it down and these four came out so it doesn't necessarily have to be a song that i like like or is my favorite nsync song or anything like that i was just drawn to put these down okay so i got you guys next week you guys have a request and i'm gonna fulfill it for you okay I know y'all gonna like the next one, so I got you guys on the next one, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what it is, you'll see you next week. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. I'm gonna show you the piles. If you guys did not see the um, community post here on YouTube or on my Instagram post to choose which pile resonates with you or which song resonated with you, you guys can see it on the um, thumbnail, should be able to at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and my nose ring keeps falling out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the piles. Okay, so pile number one is this, I promise you, and I spelled it wrong, but it's okay. This, I promise you, is pile number one. Thank you. Thank you. Let me put my, I'm not digging in my nose, you guys. I'm putting my nose ring back in my nose okay it's gonna be me as pile number two pile number three i want you back pile number four thinking of you i drive myself crazy it's pile number four you guys might know some of these songs and maybe the something stands out i have not channeled a message on the back of the car like i typically do but i did write the lyrics that stood out to me on each song and I will share it with you if you guys are led to listen to the songs after the reading or before you watch it or whatever you guys are free to do so okay all right so let's get started pile number one keep in mind these are just general energy readings they're not personal readings, so they're not gonna always resonate with each and every one of you watching at least not to its full extent if at all so just be respectful and mindful you guys of that because i know some people are like well it didn't resonate well it doesn't necessarily have to or it doesn't necessarily have to resonate all the way through all right so let's tap into you your person's energy see what you know what we're dealing with here and i ask that divine spirit gives us some divine clarity and truth and what it is that we need to know um, in regards to your person's feelings, where they're at with you, this connection, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you. Okay. Could be a Scorpio energy for this group of you. Could have Scorpio um, energy in your chart or something with Scorpio season maybe for some of you. Um, saying like Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, Libra energy. These could be seasons or these can be placements in you or your person's chart. Okay. All right. This connection is, I feel like it is an equal give and take. It is a strong sexual energy strong sexual chemistry some of your some of you your lilith is in scorpio or your person's lilith is in scorpio i feel like you guys are very advanced when it comes to spirituality or spiritual communication so you guys could be you and your person could actually like have a level of understanding of like spiritual things like you guys are not new to spirituality as far as like how to communicate with people on a higher level, how to um, 
astral travel and stuff like that you guys you and your person could be a little um skilled in that there's something with the number nine so this connection could be like your last connection before you meet the one or this connection is that one for you one of you guys could have a life path number nine um I feel like you and this person have a, a friendship bond or this could be a connection where you guys are just friends but there is a strong uh, sexual chemistry a strong um there is some type of emotional exchange or feelings between the two of you something with birds and snakes like you could own a bird or you could have a snake or your person um or could be a chinese zodiac of the snake falcons eagles may resonate with you guys but i feel like you're both very very spiritually in tune like in tune very i get kali energy too so one of you guys may be someone that is very blunt very straightforward you're also someone that does not um like to deal with bullshit you're someone that doesn't even like to deal with your own bullshit you're someone that does work through your issues you're someone that is authentic and you require people to be honest and real with you or your person is like this um you guys are like day and night or like like the sun and the moon but you guys have you guys are equally balanced within your femininity and masculinity within your own selves so i feel like you and your person vibrate very well you guys are advanced souls you guys are old souls this is not y'all first rodeo here you guys have been here many times before you and your person are um deep into spirituality i wouldn't be surprised if you guys are into the occult or something like that or like magic and stuff like that you and your person um that lilith energy it's like a very strong divine feminine energy a very balanced divine feminine I get comfortable with sexuality so whoever both of you guys I feel like are comfortable in your masculine energy and your feminine energy or one of you is more balanced in that area all right let's see how your person is currently feeling about you though how is your person currently feeling about you okay worried envious free disgusted and shy exhausted ashamed safe so your person with you they feel safe they feel liberated they feel like you bring them a sense of peace again there's something with birds something with birds so you guys could like have good conversations with each other or something with communication whether you guys have a stable communication or you guys are just not communicating but this person could feel like peace when they talk to you or peace just coming from this connection you help them feel centered um they feel free with you they feel secure with you you guys may be very protective of each other um but they're exhausted by this connection and it's because there's something that they're worried about they could be jealous they may have something like they're disgusted by um some type of behavior that they have they're ashamed by it with the ashamed card it's their shadow they're they're kind of like i feel like this person fears your judgment like you're going to judge them this person may be um they know they're trying to repel like this shadow side of them like this jealous side that they do have maybe even a possessive nature that's not healthy i feel like your person um is very again like you and your person are very protective of each other and i feel like anyone that gets close it's like a possessiveness in a way but it may be manifesting in a toxic way i feel like it's like some type of shame they feel like you're going to judge them or something or they feel like you are judging them and i feel like this has something to do with their childhood or maybe they had strict parenting or upbringing or like they were shamed by some of their emotions or something like that but there's some type of feeling of being humiliated or feeling 
embarrassed maybe even unworthy at times but it's like well you know i shouldn't be feeling these types of things like they know that it's it's not a good feeling to have um so they're kind of uneasy about this connection they also feel like you're someone that nurtures them and is concerned about them when they're not doing so well you guys can pick up each other's energy you can tell when one of you or both of you can tell when you guys are going through something or when you're sad or some type of change is happening in your life like you guys can pick that energy up well your person may not be eating i don't know uh yeah i don't know that's what i'm saying your person may not be eating so it could be something like it doesn't necessarily have to be because of you like they're stressed it's something that they're dealing with they're dealing with their shadows and they may not be like they might not have an appetite to eat i don't know that was random but i feel like because it's like specific that's for somebody and if you felt like that then that's a confirmation for you but they're not eating and i feel like they're also purging so someone may be sick someone could be sick right now having ascension symptoms the flu vomiting diarrhea like someone's clearing out energy this connection is very very um advanced on a spiritual level and it advances you both like you both get hit with these energies like of change um growth and evolution to help each other raise your con your consciousness your person may have something that they want to confess to you you may also have something you want to confess to them you guys may have never told each other how you feel about each other yeah so they want to clear the air with you like but they're doing clearing of their own but it's not time to clear the air with you because this card is in reverse so this person is spiritually clearing right now um this person has vulnerability issues like they're not comfortable with sharing they're not able to give to this connection in the way that you want to right now or desire or maybe even the way that they want to as well because i feel like they want to um have some movement or they they want to be able to show up in the connection you guys could be together but it's like something that they feel like they're not able to bring to the table fully i feel like you guys are mirroring each other you guys like one of you when one of you is healing the other person may be more in a higher place and then it switches off but they're taking time out right now because they're going through a period of discovery they're going within themselves so there's something within a year major something major within this year that may take place with this connection this person could be a little defensive right now or just like you ask them certain things they may they may close you out or shut you out or snap at you snap at you or something but i don't feel like it's anything that you're doing wrong i feel like this person is not in the space to open up or give let me see yeah so there's some things that are not fully completed yet not fully um yeah something that's not done and i feel like they're working on some type of creative projects or they're focusing on creating like reinventing themselves or fixing themselves fixing their life in some way you are one of these puzzle pieces in their life but right now it's like this is their energy breakup to make up they're trying to avoid some type of drama they could have somebody else one of you guys could be 27 years old maybe you guys met when you were 27 or one of you was 27 years old uh they're trying to avoid repeating us the cycle with you and if they were dealing with someone else because i get that this is not an official relationship for some of you for a majority of you i don't feel like this is an official connection this seems like uh, a connection where you guys relate to each other in some type of way like some type of um acquaintance friendship or it's not you guys have never been together basically is what i'm getting from this i don't even feel like you guys have ever had sex to be honest um if it resonates with you doesn't mean that you're excluded if that's the case if you guys 
are in a relationship or you guys have been intimate physically intimate with each other does not mean that you're excluded from this take what resonates out of this for you because there's multiple people watching this so it's not gonna all resonate um, sometimes it can but you know you got to get a personal reading with a reader so reciprocity this person wants to give you that they're trying to avoid some type of drama with you I feel like if you guys have had breakups and makeups this person is not trying to repeat that they're not trying to go down that same road with you there, you both feel like a, a spark. You guys feel like a strong passion with each other. You guys ignite each other. Like, you guys motivate each other. You guys, some type of fire that you guys feel with each other. It's a, a strong energy. You guys might resonate with the twin flame thing. You guys might see each other as twin flames or just, like, someone that is a fire starter. Like, someone that sparked something in their life or vice versa. It's something with the number 27 something with the number 27 because there was 27 viewers that's the third time i've seen it unfinished business so it could very well be again they're working on some type of creative project and the creative project can be self like focusing on bettering self like i gotta tend to some things that i've not been working on or towards within myself for some of you it's some type of unfinished business with past lovers or a past lover that they need to clear up first this person gets heavily triggered by you, this connection. But again, if this is a connection that's meant to help you guys evolve, raise your consciousness, your vibration, better yourselves, that triggering is going to be there, whether you're doing it intentionally or not. Let's see. I do feel like your person is in love with you. Or has strong feelings for you. Um, they feel like you're being patient with them. Or they want you to be patient with them. Because um, they want a fresh start. But there's things that they're waiting. Like you're waiting. Some of you guys are waiting on this person. But I feel like with the Queen of Swords. This person knows that they cannot approach you before it's time and there's a need for patience with the seven of pentacles while certain things clear up and the full card it's not quite time to begin a new energy until things are closed out we're all clearing karmic cycles it's where we're at like the placements in the universe a lot of us are clearing out karmic energy collectively clearing out so and on top of that it's venus retrograde so there's a lot of clearing out when it comes to relationships and stuff like that making amends forgiveness justice yeah karmic cycle you're welcome thank you karmic justice the three of wands like this person is anticipating like they want things to move forward with you they want things to move forward in their life period to some extent so it's like taking it day by day or step by step it's not going to happen all in one shot so i feel like they understand that and they're being patient but they're keeping that that desire is still there ace of wands yeah it's a strong passion and chemistry that you and your person have or your person has for you i feel like it's mutual but they're focusing on creating and reinventing themselves they may be someone that has many different layers to them different um something with the chameleon when i think of chameleons i think of shapeshifters um knows how to fit into different environments and stuff like that your person is working on reinventing themselves your person shapeshifts again you and your person or maybe your person is very advanced spiritually so they're working on manifesting something and I don't feel like they're taking their attention off of it. They're just waiting for certain things to, to align and take place for them. They're stepping into their path right now, like what's really meant for them or what's really of their highest good. They're aligning themselves with that. And for some, yes, they want you to be patient with them. Come out come out yep butterfly 
they're going through an evolution process right now they want this connection to evolve into something greater something higher they're just going through this new phase this new process they're adjusting to the energies the more we heal the more our our vibration the more we're like free we're light light in it we not only are we light in like how we feel mentally emotionally like our energy we're light but also with just like internally it's a light energy and it reflects outwardly so it's like a glow so this person is they've gone through some type of evolution process they're still clearing out but they're they've cleared out a lot and enough for them to be in a whole new frequency and energy that's higher so it's like they're just adjusting to that new energy it's like learning how to walk for the first time like you know each milestone that a child has walking cr like crawling to walking it's like you have to learn to adjust to that so that's where they're at and i feel like they're getting a lot of clarity and revelation and that's another thing too when we release and when we heal certain things when we let go and cut cords with certain things forgive you know whatever releasing that we do the more higher our consciousness is and the more clear clarity we do have the more we hear spirit the more um more revelations that come in so they're getting a lot of that and they're very again there's something with protection this person protects is either protecting you or very protective of you like i said or the end or they're also protecting this connection um so there's a lot of changes that are happening in this person's life like rapid change a lot and i do feel like they're getting out of some type of situations with someone that was very toxic to them very draining to them something with a snake again um if you've been dreaming about snakes and stuff like that pay attention to your dreams but i feel like this person is dealing with someone or they were dating someone or like that that was sneaky deceptive or someone close to them that was sneaky or deceptive or something like that um they were easily fooled by this person i feel like this is an ex or someone in their life that was like this it does not have to be a woman for everyone but um it could be a male as well like your person was deceived by this individual um they are learning to create boundaries in their life with certain people like this so it's some type of like energy vampire or someone that is uh exhibiting narcissistic traits or they are one or they're just like someone that sucks their energy that uses them up they know how to get this person to do things for them so this is them learning how to create boundaries for themselves or they have been um standing in their power using these boundaries so they're waking up and smelling the coffee this person wants to meet up with you or they want to spend more time with you so if you guys are spending less and less time outside of the whole quarantine situation they want to spend more time with you or it's like if you guys have not had a chance to get together they want to do that so and it looks like they value some type of friendship or you guys already are friends but take what resonates yeah so some of you guys could have made a took a very big step with each other or one of you was thinking about it but it could have been something that already happened um and you feel like you you're regretting it it was like a missed opportunity or something happened but it helps someone to just be more present in the moment and not sweat the small stuff but also i feel like you or your person wants to take some type of initiative and make some type of move towards the other person you guys don't want to miss out on this there's something about communication that's imperative like one of you guys wants to communicate again like i said something with a confession and that could be anything they could want to confess anything or you I feel like both of you guys have things you want to get off of your chest um but this person's leveling up they're improving themselves in a big big way and you'll notice because this person's energy is more much more lighter not so heavy they're not really sure what they want right now they're not completely clear about they know what they want but they're not clear as to where they stand or how to go about it 
And again, it's because they're adjusting to these new energies. They have trust issues. They have trust issues, and I don't feel like it's anything to do with you. It's more so trusting themselves with you or trusting themselves with their decisions. Um, their fear is like they have a fear of opening up, too. They may have been dishonest about some things with you. You may know but about these things that they were dishonest about, whether it already came out or, you know, you just already know deep down what that is. They may have been hiding their true feelings from you due to that fear of vulnerability. Um, could also be that there were still some people that they were dealing with or that there was something that was holding them back, like a person or something from the past that was holding them back. But this person doesn't want you to confuse what whatever they got going on as a thing that they don't care, a factor that they don't care. All right. So let's see what you can potentially expect knowing where this person's feelings are with you. Like, what can you expect from this situation? What can you expect from this situation? What can they expect, God? I one people. Okay. Facts of life. There's something with birds and these blue birds. I keep seeing them everywhere. And bumblebees, something with bumblebees. I know that could be like foundation building, work, hard work. Could also represent like community, um, also attraction and stuff like that. So I feel like what's to come is this person is going to maybe express to you somehow what they've been dealing with in the past. Like they're going to share this with you or you're going to share this with your person. But I feel like you both, like I said, I keep getting like you both have something you want to say to each other and then you have bull's eye so they're very focused right now very focused on something when it comes to this connection and you're very focused and what will be will be um what's gonna be is gonna be and that's something that you guys need to keep in mind like there's no need to worry about the future take life as you're led led to walk it flow in it and grow in life and it's not always easy to do but um i do feel like there's going to be some type of message of good news that comes in for you or for your person when it comes to this connection one of you guys are going to share some type of good news or when you guys hear from each other it could be like a catch up like we're ca like catching up how have you been type of thing or um letting you know what's been going on in each other's life basically um and freeing yourselves of something like letting something out so there's a big focus there's a big focus on something right now with the bull's eye and i feel like it has something to do with your connection so the song this i promise you the line i'm gonna read you the line or the verse that stood out to me and i kept hearing it over and over before i even played the song because i needed to hear it it says i loved you forever and lifetimes before i promise you will never hurt anymore i'll give you my word i give you my heart um this is a battle we've won with this vow forever has now begun and then it goes into um the song you know how it goes and i will take you in my arms and hold you right where you belong till the day my life is through this i promise you every word i say is true those parts stood out to me so your person obviously sees you as like that and it's some type of bond that you guys have and it could just be what you know something that you guys understand because the part that stood out to me is i loved you forever in lifetimes before so you guys know each other from past lives so it's like you guys have this unspoken bond with each other that maybe others don't get but it's because it's a it's a past life energy too so hopefully that resonated with pile number one folks <laughs> we're gonna move on to pile number two Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, feel free to like it, share it with someone that you feel like it resonates with. And I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. All right, pile number two. 2939. And this is, it's gonna be me. I'll read the lyrics at the end of the reading. 
keep in mind this is general use your discernment to know what's for you and what is not for you okay because not every message is going to pertain to each and every viewer so you have to use your discernment to know you know what's confirming what so let's tap into your energy and your person's energy i ask divine spirit to give us divine guidance truth and clarity and love let's see what's happening to you, your person what's good with you and your person who you and your person okay you got aries energy you got taurus energy you got libra energy pisces capricorn or is that leo sorry leo sagittarius um and this has something to do with a marriage or wedding so you and your person could be married or you guys could be engaged or there's been talks of marriage or you guys believe that this is your person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with or your person feels like that it's gonna be me that's a given we'll read the lyrics at the end like i said but the wedding card came out something with the number 22 or mirroring you guys may see the number 222 a lot 22 twos 11s 11 11 sequences whatever um your person could have a lot of Ven venus placements in their chart there's a lot of love here it's a lot of beauty a lot of attraction so a factuation that you or your person has um if you guys don't have any of these placements in your chart it could be that you guys met under these zodiac seasons or you guys are planning to get married during these zodiac seasons or something like that um get a strong feminine presence it's like a strong energy uh feminine energy that resonates with the moon some of you guys may have a moon in one of these zodiac signs which is sag leo taurus libra pisces sagittarius aries if i didn't say that already like you guys could have that in your your moon or your person there's a feminine energy i feel like that has one of these placements in their moon so it's like a beauty uh, beautiful energy you guys could be very attractive physically attractive people or a lot of people cling to you they like your energy they like your personality they like your style um just kind of getting you guys have like a natural swag or something like you guys are i'm on pile two you guys just have a natural swag or something about you that people like you guys like each other um you guys feel comfortable with each other you guys could be like the couple that people look at and like oh they're so cute they're so cute together or something like that it's like i don't know i get I'm not getting superficial but i feel like you guys are um back you know the will and jada's and the brad pitt and um jennifer aniston like look like you guys are the cute couple the oh they look so cute together like that britney spears justin timberlake type of thing like chris brown and rihanna like it was a, a look it was a, a thing like oh they look so cute they look fly together it's like that um because I feel like you guys have Venus, a lot of Venus placements or something. And, and I get just beauty, attraction. That's not all that there is here. But you guys definitely, you guys might even look alike or something. Something about your features. You guys could look almost exactly alike. Or it's just you guys match each other somehow. Or one of you could be like really tall and one is really short. So it's like, oh, it's interesting. You know, something about you guys is like. I don't know it's it's cute that's what i'm getting so let's see how your person feels about you though how does your person feel y'all could be the type like oh i have my whole wedding plans out i know what i'm gonna do and what i'm gonna wear and all this stuff like y'all could be that type <laughs> okay And it could also be people are just so sure that you guys are going to end up together or people want to see you guys together for some of you. All right. How does your person feel? How does pile number two's person feel about them? Powerless, depressed. Why? What's wrong? What's going on? Y'all got a lot going on. Okay, your person is like... 
your person respects you they feel like you're someone that um is very caring towards them you pay attention to them you've nurtured them at some points when they went through something or when they do grow through things you're there for them look it's blue birds god dang it spirit what you what you doing with these blue birds they're everywhere i don't know what that's about but it's like this caring energy very nurturing like maybe you speak in a loving way or you encourage them like you guys have high conversations but they respect you and you respect them there's an admiration for each other you guys may both be um fighters in life like you guys may have both been through some things um you wow this person like every time they see you it's like something about you like they are enamored like like you they like that's your boo but something has happened um self-conscious awkward exposed so they could have been shocked by something when it comes to you it doesn't have to be good or bad um I feel they've also they feel very compassionate towards you too because you could have went through something at a, a point in your life that was kind of embarrassing or you felt like you were being um, maybe you felt like people were coming af at you and this person was there or something or they seen this but this person is panicking they're swept up in their emotions they're anxious they're like like what's going on um they could be a little withdrawn and i don't feel like it has anything to do with you but it could be towards you um it could be towards you but i feel like this person is depressed about something else so that is causing them to be withdrawn they're paralyzed they feel a little weak right now they feel like their hands are tied there's nothing that they can really do right now or it's something in their it's something that they they're dealing with that caught them off guard so take whatever resonates i don't want to confuse anyone because i'm getting different scenarios and based off of that it's you know how they feel um for most of you they feel very grateful for this connection they're grateful for you you're like a blessing to them they feel blessed um and you also encourage this person maybe they went through something that was very embarrassing and they feel like you had your you had their back and if you didn't they are they feel kind of like spiteful or feel hostile towards you or if you went through something and you feel like they weren't there for you um you may feel embarrassed or something and they feel bad about that so take what resonates this person is like swept up in some type of emotions they may have anxiety just naturally have anxiety about certain things doesn't have to be about the situation but they are um they respect you this person is curious about you they're trying to like they want to know what's going on for some of you i feel like you guys were an ex and it was like everybody was like well you guys are supposed to be together this is supposed to be you know y'all were supposed to have kids and or something like that because there's still a curiosity with curious about you you guys had a question it could be a yes because the yes card came out if you're saying is this person interested in me yes they're interested in you or yes they're still interested um they want to speak up for some of you i'm getting publicly with spontaneous your person could be a little bit um, of a joker, like a jokester type of person, um, funny and stuff like that. They may like be curious about things that you do. Like you could be someone that's very unpredictable. You could be outspoken or your person could be like this, but they're feeling really led to, to stay the course, to still keep going with this, keep going towards this connection if they feel like they've lost you or something like that or you feel like you've lost them they're still on the path to this connection i'm getting different types of energies for this group yeah you guys could have been very codependent on each other like and i feel like you guys did go through a separation 
you guys currently are in separation i feel like this connection could have been like very routine or the same repetitive cycles with the robotic card but this is also a connection that's meant to break you guys out of social norms and stuff like that so codependency one of you guys could have felt trapped by this connection although there's still love here someone felt like they needed to free themselves from this um someone was this your person i feel like because this kind of looks like the card i just where is it the panicky card where are you at he's swept up by this current this water and this person is like help like in this ocean deep in their emotions and it's like surrendering to what they feel they needed to surrender to something the ego is coming up for a reason you guys are possibly um, in separation to the point where it's still a lot of animosity or just like not a lot of clarity or um because i feel like there's still some attraction there's still a spark between the two of you and every now and then it could burn out but i feel like you guys still rekindle it like it's like unwilling to let the fire burn out between the two of you with the ego card the shadow there's some shadows that need to be confronted and faced there's heavy sadness grief and sadness when it comes to this connection for one of you or both of you because it seems like it's at an end or you guys had to break up or something or you guys just needed to walk away or one of you guys could have felt defeated by this connection like in some instance um with this rose it's dead it's dying so it's like this connection is you guys feel like it's dying and you're sad by that or you don't want it to die there's some type of pain and i also feel too it's like maybe you guys were not properly nurturing this connection and one of you feels like the other was always nurturing it but the other person was not and you both could feel this way you guys may talk again um I feel like this person or you could be like watching each other on social media but through a fake profile or something like that texting reconnecting with someone open dialogue second chance back in each other's world um fake profile liar scammer creeper alert do a background check not genuinely interested not who you think i feel if you guys talk again first it's probably gonna be through a fake profile or something if it's not already or this person having someone else reach out to you to see what's going on with you but you guys talking again very well could be through a social media account or something like that if you guys are not in communication um because they're trying to make a plan on how to ask you out or how to hit you back up again and so they're testing this out one of you guys could yeah it's like kind of a little bit manipulative energy um you or your person feels entitled to the other person you guys could have been very controlling one of the reasons why you guys could have broke up was because of infidelity lack of boundaries um selfishness or why you guys are at a bump in the road right now with each other I also feel like this person or you are very excited about what you're manifesting because it's like it's a plan like I got a plan I got a whole plan about how I'm gonna go about this and it's like they're happy they're stoked about it something with the ocean you or your person could like uh, water sports could be good at water sports or you guys live near the water or something like that but this person is feeling like okay good things can happen I can make a dream come true it's something with marriage engagement ring y'all you guys could have been engaged and you broke it off or this is someone that you guys want to marry or your person wants to marry you or you guys talked about it or it could be that in the future because the marriage card did come out this person's working on something but it's like there's some type of mask like you guys are both not being completely honest and authentic with each other you guys may be D denying how you feel or projecting that outwardly a family and friends is like wondering what happened between you and your person you guys could be like 
oh, you know, forget about him. I don't care. Or, you know, forget her. Like, I ain't think about her. Or something like that. And you guys could even be dating other people. Or you guys try to get over each other and go back to an ex or something. I get... This is a lot. <laughs> I'm getting, a, like, a lot of different messages. So, please just roll with what resonates with you or what's confirming, you know, confirming something for you. Because I don't want to confuse anyone. For some of you, your person broke your trust because they could have went back to someone that they were engaged to or married. Or you found out this person was married or engaged to someone else. Or... Yeah, it was some type of something was hidden from you that you were not seeing or this person was like talking marriage with you, but they were still out doing other shit or dealing with other people. Um, for others of you, you and your person could like if one of you cheated on the other, it could be like you guys feel like you have to be with a certain type of person and especially if your friends or family was rooting for you to be with a certain type of person or individual other than what they really wanted um like talk them into being with somebody else or hyping up another relationship that could have played a role in this even though they didn't really want that connection or hyping them up to be a certain type of way when in reality they want to be settled down but everyone else is rooting for them to be like a player or um focus on self some type of selfish lifestyle or something like that i'm getting but i feel like you guys will hear from this person or you're going to reach out to them take what resonates because there's um there's expressions there's someone that wants to express their love or express their feelings for the other person um one of you guys could decide to let this go because you feel like a better connection or something that wasn't as heavy as this connection would have served you better and you wanted to free yourself from it you felt trapped or your person felt like they're too dependent on you this is too much i need to go somewhere that's a little more relaxed or to me what makes more sense or what fits me or someone that looks some of you this might be a triggering to hear but if this resonates with you if your person did choose somebody else over you or um, they kept you like I wouldn't say hidden but this person could be superficial or you could be superficial whoever chose someone or something else it was because of looks or it's because of status or something like that like this person could fit more of an archetype that they're used to or fit society or something that they were programmed to believe was cute beautiful handsome whatever or just what their family suggested for them um they went with that and i feel like that's not really what they wanted something with arranged relationships arranged marriages for those of you if it's like a cultural thing could be like arranged marriages or relationships or something like that seven of wands I feel like your person feels like they deal with things, um, spiritual things that you don't see, you don't get. Like a lot of people don't understand like what they have to deal with, with the seven of wands. Um, with the three of cups card, definitely a third party energy for some of you with the devil card. There was a third party energy, it was like a karmic connection for some of you or like some type of karmic um, restrictions on love and relationships like I said they could be if it's like a cultural religious or something like some cultures their parents pick out their their lovers or um, oh you better not bring I, I don't know <laughs> this I don't know this is coming up and it's like it's crazy that some you know in the black community that some women say this to their kids or their sons but you better not bring no nappy head a girl home you better not well i've heard the white girl thing if she can't use her brush don't bring her home that's like an old saying that's like old school but it's something like that like it's some type of restriction um i don't know i mean i'm not gonna say i don't know because that's coming out strongly but you guys i feel like that's not going to be for everybody because some of you guys, you guys are accepted by each other's family and they want you guys to be together. But I just get different types of energy. So take what resonates. Um, 
Ace of Swords. Someone is going to cut cords with this toxic cycle. It's not going to be easy because they feel like it's a lot of pressure on them that, that you don't know or you don't see. But take what resonates. The High Priestess. Use your intuition. You know. You guys know deep down within yourself. You know the truth about this. Some of you guys could be dealing with a person that's younger than you or your person could be older than you. Like, take what resonates. Because I get with this Queen of Swords and this Page of Wands, it's almost like this Queen of Swords is a feminine energy that can be very intimidating. Um, very wise. Like, she, she's able to call out some bullshit. And I feel like if it's a masculine energy here, they're, it's a defensive energy coming from this masculine energy towards this queen of swords but it's like a little bit of immaturity when it comes to this connection when it comes to taking the initiative or taking action and this queen of swords may be requiring some type of um truth and honesty before anything So it's not so much what you do, but it's like, or how you, yes, it is about how you approach this Queen of Swords energy, but it's what you say as well. What you're saying, like, you better, it's like, you better step to me with some honesty and some truth and clarity. That's what I'm getting. Five of Wands. So you guys could be a little bit, you guys miss each other, but there's something that is a conflict here or that you're fighting internally or your person is fighting internally. There's a lot of factors that you guys don't see that plays into this connection. But it's like if you guys can overcome this devil energy or your person can overcome this devil energy, which is all fear, which is all ego. Um, the tower is at the bottom because it does require these, these false foundations or these false beliefs or structures and um all of that has to come down like it doesn't serve this connection and i feel like the core the sword of truth the truth is what's going to set you and your person free or your person free whoever is stuck in this devil card energy because the lover's card is at the top so this is a choice a choice that needs to be made because i do feel like it's like a soul connection here like a deep connection, a divine connection. And there's also a karmic connection that's like in the way. Group number two, y'all, this is a long reading because there's a lot Spirit had to say to you. This person um, may have told you that they don't want to be together or you guys you may have told them that you don't want to be together this person talked about you to others that they care about like they talk about the situation and again like i said if people are asking like what happened to so-and-so or like they talk about you and they've been having dreams about you too they've been having dreams um they want you to know if there was someone else you wouldn't know about it like this person could have hit that from you in the past or you could have hit that from your person but there isn't anyone else and they're not interested in anybody else they're not interested okay so what can you expect potentially in the near future knowing what this person is feeling towards you what can you expect potentially something with the ring mend a relationship this person wants to mend a relationship with you because they took some time out to look at themselves and i feel like they don't want to do life without you or you decided you don't want to do life without your person and it could be again talking about an engagement a marriage um or making some type of commitment towards you toughing it out like willing to to work things through and work it out so one of you could take a, a leap of faith that's going to surprise yourself 
or the other you know it's a shock to the self and to whoever is witnessing this leap of faith because i feel like this is a big step you or your person like don't want to lose each other so it's something with a ring or it could just symbolize commitment and marriage so it's gonna be me the the line that stood out to me or the, the verse that stood out to me it says um well it's the song itself it says every little thing i do never seems enough for you you don't want to lose it again but i'm not like them when you finally get to love somebody guess what it's going to be me so there could also be a fear of being hurt again um because of something that went you know that fell between the two of you or failed in a previous relationship there's a fear but this person's saying like when you really get a chance to like really love like with your removing that fear because i feel like these foundations like they gotta come down they gotta come down um what everybody else tells you you need to do and who you need to act like or be this or be with this person or oh it's just gonna be this again like once you let go of all those restrictions or your person lets go of all of these restrictions um you're going to find because remember take a good look at yourself in the mirror help someone to understand that they want to mend a relationship and they don't want to lose the other person so that's the message for pile number two i hope i didn't confuse y'all because it was like different messages that were coming out different scenarios and stuff like that so i don't know but i hope that resonated with you guys hope it resonated hope it resonated so if you like this video feel free to like it you guys can share it with someone you feel it resonates with or you know see you guys next week all right pile number three where are we at we are 56 56 interesting 11 11 it's interesting all right pile number three your song was i want you back all right So obviously this could be a little, you know, situation with an ex, but we'll see. We're going to get into it. This reading is general. It's not a personal reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody um, fully, at least, if at all. Okay. If it resonates fully or partially, cool. Use your discernment, you guys. All right. Find spirit ask for highest guidance and clarity for group number three and their person. Let's get some information and clarity about their person. Mm. All right. Sag energy. You guys might resonate with pile number two. Just saying. Same cards is coming out. Exact same cards with the exception of Pisces energy. Um, you and your person definitely see each other as marriage material. You find the other very beautiful, and very attractive, or this connection could be very beautiful, very comforting um, with the wedding card. You also have music. So you guys could be very artistic. You guys may love music. You guys could be musicians. Um, I feel one of you guys has spoken about marriage. If you guys have been hearing stuff about like songs about music and stuff like that, or your person may have or is, you know, could be hearing Claire Audiently. Just the other day I heard Jagged Edge's um Let's Get Married. Jagged Edge, let's get married. Let's get married. I heard that coming. It just randomly came in. I didn't even hear it on the radio or nothing like that. It just came in clear audibly randomly. So you guys could hear like songs like you know marriage and stuff like that. Cause I feel like that's a message from your person or your person could be hearing these songs, um, and that could be you sending it out, especially if it's a desire to be together. Um, you or your person could make music about one another. I do feel like someone is doesn't feel comfortable with expressing their emotions. Maybe they express their, their emotions artistically. There is something with Venus energy, which can also be beauty, arts, and stuff like that. 
so it's kind of being expressed via like music or arts and something of that sort so you have sag energy taurus leo pisces aries libra energy here um which could be in your chart or your person's chart or you guys could have met each other um during one of those seasons okay so i just get something specifically is one of you guys could be a lover of animals and the other may not be or um you and your person could both love animals or some of you you and your partner your your person does not like animals that could be very specific for some of you um but i get a very regal energy very um feisty or very assertive type of personality from you and your person you guys could be very fixed and set in your ways as well you guys could bump heads especially if you guys are like taurus aries couplings or aries leo or taurus leo couplings or something like that or your venus is in one of these signs like you guys could bump heads so let's see how your person feels about you though how do they feel yeah i feel like there's a lot of dreamy fantasizing energy from you or your person whoever has that pisces placement in their chart um or depending on where it is some type of energy of creativity and loving to express their feelings and emotions through their art so whether it be through like paintings whether it be through singing writing rapping um some or whatever whatever outlet some type of creative energy okay there is a strong love here the person feels like passion a love <laughs> it's gonna be mad <laughs> intimate passionate committed towards you um very committed but they're not really sure where this connection is going or how do i go about this it's, it's like you may be a prize to this person or they're proud to have you in their life or they're proud to have you know to know who you are they feel like by having this connection or mastering some type of level um i don't know something about pile two to some extent may resonate with you because i'm kind of getting similar because something with the marriage thing that's coming up doesn't have to be for everybody but that could be the goal or if you guys are married like this person is proud to have you or if you guys are engaged this person is proud to have you but it's like you're a prize to be one or they see you as that you know it could be like the trophy wife trophy husband thing i don't know but i feel like either way this person feels like it would be a victory to have this passionate committed relationship with you um they have some type of confidence about this like they feel like they know um they know they may also feel like you could be someone that's very achieved in some type of skill that you do because i get like this olympic energy from this these two cards so you could be someone that is very um skilled at what you do or you've accomplished something and they're very proud of you you wow this person with the shot card like you surprise them or recently maybe you've accomplished something or something they feel like is a big accomplishment even if it's not um something such as career or it could be you graduated or something or it's like they see a big change in you or you've overcome some type of milestone or something and i feel like they're proud of that um you do make this person feel very exposed very vulnerable they're not comfortable especially amongst others so it's like you got this person open in the way that other people are seeing it like you could have helped this person change or come out of their shell or something or maybe they've seen you come out of your shell but they're a little unsure and they're frustrated 
because I feel like they're at a crossroads with this connection, especially if this is someone that you guys are no longer together and they're watching you and they still have this love for you or they want to be with you or they want to come come back to you or whatever they broke up with you and now they regret it or whatever the case may be um they're kind of unsure about how to approach this though they're indecisive so they're thinking about something which way to go because this man is in traffic he's looking at the clock or the he's looking at his watch excuse me he's looking at his watch so one of you guys could be very athletic or you guys are like you know into going to the gym and stuff like that but it's a frustration it's like some type of frustration about how to go about this connection feeling stuck where they are feeling restricted yeah they feel blocked and restricted and they're looking at timing and they may be like i'm about to miss out on time this person feels very lonely even when they're amongst other people they just kind of they feel alienated and they feel alone okay there's a little bit of hopelessness too i feel like um they're very pessimistic and they feel a little defeated by this so it's like i want to be with this person but i don't know how this is going to happen or i want things to work out a certain way but i don't know how it's going to happen they have a focus they have a goal all right let's see where is your person where is your person I don't know it's like same scenarios tonight kind of not really not for everybody it's a lot of cards it's a lot of cards okay so they're curious about you so i feel like this is somebody that you are not in a relationship with um you could have been in a relationship with them in the past they're thinking about something but think about it they're thinking about something like a plan the fear, the fear based, the fear of being rejected or fear of getting their heart broken, maybe preventing them from doing something, um, minor setback. So it's something that's preventing them from coming forward. I feel like it's divine timing, but it's also healing. And that could be the divine timing thing is like until this person heals what they need to heal or maybe you need to heal. If this is a connection where you both want to be together or you guys want things to work out together, then you both may need to heal and that's why spirit is saying like this is just a minor setback there's mommy issues here someone um could have not received a like the nurturing that they wanted or they they may want you to love and nurture them in the way that their mothers do or have or something like that or it could be like a mommy complex like where you know feminine energy they tend to over nurture their their lovers and stuff it could be that that needs to be healed depending on you know how that works so it could be wanting someone to nurture and give like their mother or someone that wants to mommy their partner baby their partner it could be that and ex is involved too so this ex involved could be something regarding the healing doesn't have to be that there's an ex that's actively present or that they're dealing with them or anything. It could be that what exes did or a specific ex did is preventing things from moving forward. Okay? Because someone does have a fear of commitment, afraid of commitment. This ghost energy could have caused one of you to ghost each other or one of one of one or the other. You guys could also be at a distance. There could be travel that's involved because they're you know the car so it could be like how are we going to make this work because we no longer live near each other or we never did like take what resonates be patient you guys are both being tested in your patience because I feel like spirit is saying things are not supposed to move right now just yet until these things get cleared out because if you guys were together and things if you were the ex or you are the ex of this person and they're your ex um that could be the minor setback because you guys have not yet healed what you guys needed to heal the sacred resonates if it be that you guys are supposed to be back together or if you guys are not each other's ex it's something that's in the way from getting this person to you or they feel like they messed up an opportunity i feel like Yeah, you guys, codependency. So there could have been a heavy codependency upon this connection. Both of you guys could have been very codependent on each other or, you know, one or the other. Someone was once the runner and now 
they're the chaser vice versa i feel like with the surrender card you guys are i'll say mainly for your person but i feel like this could resonate with you too like your person could be very overwhelmed by their emotions when it comes to you and they don't know what to do when they're tired of like trying to suppress their emotions or run so much so that they're drowning in their emotions and they have no choice but to just surrender and feel through it so the optimism card is like this person and there's something with the number 11 something with fours and something with sevens um in their higher consciousness this person believes that this could work out and when they're in their highest vibration or when they're in that state of higher consciousness they know they feel like they need to take a risk or they want to take a risk with the wild card they feel like they need to take some type of leap of faith a risk this person does love you could be something with a necklace or something with rose quartz um maybe they bought you a necklace or you bought them a necklace or they want to buy you a necklace or something or you want to buy like take what resonates but it's something with that and it's like to show their token of appreciation some people have a love language um of buying things for their lovers or people that they love you know buying them gifts so your person could operate in that way you know okay let's see how does your person feel how does pile number three's person feel about them eight of cups they feel like you've walked away from them with the eight of cups like you 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 walked out you walked away but they also feel like they need to walk away from the past and walk into the unknown in the future like they need to let go of some things emotionally um the emperor they feel like they're your emperor or they feel like you're or how do i say it? i'm trying to say it you know what i mean like they either feel like they're your emperor or they feel like you're their emperor did i say that right ace of cups you guys know what i mean flip it ace of cups so they feel like this is that that one cup that one true love this is that holy grail like this is this is the that oversees all the other cups this is the one and they may feel awakened to that there's something with lotuses too because there's two cards with lotus flowers the ace of cups and the chariot has these lotus flowers in them so to me that's a sign of awakening or enlightenment or the third eye chakra so your person is very aware and they look at you as their dream or their wish come true and i feel like they want to align with it your person if they're spiritually aware and conscious enough they know that they need to heal something in order like they have to let go in order to put into a new energy a new future but it's like you also are distant to them they feel like you're a distant star i'm hearing marvin gay distant lover that might resonate with somebody they could feel like that that song makes my heart chakra feel some type of way i don't know so that might resonate with y'all though the um tower the tower card yeah it's like deconstructing in order to build a more stable foundation this old tower must go the old ways of being must go the old person internally in order to get that enlightenment like you have to break yourself open with the tower card it's like surrendering your all and letting go and throwing everything away or willing to give up and everything that does not serve you in order for a new you to give birth so I feel like your person knows that they need to do this. And with that comes the awakening. And maybe, perhaps, your person has already went through that process. So you have the Page of Pentacles. They see you as something very valuable. And it's like the more they learn about you, the more they study you, the more they spend time with you, the more they understand how valuable you are. In the beginning, I don't feel like they understood that or just how valuable this connection was, how meaningful it was. Um they want to align with the path that is divinely meant for them and they want you like to be on that path with you they want some type of progression this person there's a lot of majors 
So I don't discount that your person has gone through their awakening or that they are spiritually aware or that something major has took place in their life. There's a lot of shifting. I'm falling for you. So your person could now, like, knowing what they know, they feel like they're falling more in love with you or they're falling for you in some way. Because maybe it was just like they liked you, they have feelings, but it wasn't that deep. But this person is, like, really falling. or they're, And it, I feel like it's more so because they're coming, becoming aware of their emotions and how they really feel. They're not stuffing it down anymore. They're not suppressing it. Um, they could have cared about what their family and friends thought in the past, or maybe they feel like you do, like you have something like, what will people think? I also get energy of inadequacy coming from somewhere, insecurity, you're in my heart and in my mind. Yeah, you're on this person's heart and you're on their mind. And then would stop trying to control shit. It could be like, they feel in some way that again you guys may bump heads i feel like you both are kind of one and the same you guys are very similar you guys are set in your ways you guys have your own ideas and you guys may bump heads so it's like they may felt may have felt like you were trying to control things or control them or that um you may be trying to control how you feel too all right <clears throat> I don't know why I get your person is tired of waiting or um, they're just feeling kind of emotionally incomplete. Cisco, incomplete. I don't know. That might resonate. Um, coffee cup, self-indulgent, the phoenix, the butterfly. Yes, you and your person may have both went through some major transformations. You guys may have went through um, a big evolution process within yourself some of you guys have changed your perceptions of how you see love and how you see each other you guys i feel like the the time to heal card with the self-indulgence time to heal shadow work self-appreciation focus on self self-worth you guys are doing that currently or you guys you guys have been doing this already in the past you guys have been focusing on self and that's why this evolution process has happened. I feel like the tower moment already took place. And I feel like that represents like some type of big awakening, some type of big shock, revelation. So um, I feel like you guys, the reason why you guys are not able to come together in the way that you guys want to, or some of you even communicate in the way that you want to or communicate at all is because of this process. So... I feel like spirit is wanting you guys to make sure that you guys are in a space of self-love before you guys can really make anything happen if it's meant to be but self-love yeah so another thing too this person could have cheated or you could have cheated because you got the cheater story or some of you guys are used to cheaters and you guys fear it's a trigger for you the trigger card or because of what this person did or what you did in the past it could trigger one of you or both of you um trigger trust issues trigger something that needs to be healed from a past relationship where maybe one of you or both of you were cheated on by someone because um, there could have been a lot of secrecy in this or you guys keep these things to yourself you don't really share this hurt with anybody you're protecting yourself you're denying the fact that you're hurting so therefore again it's that suppression you and your person can suppress suppress your emotions very deeply um especially your wounds and i feel like you guys trigger that out of each other so that you guys can heal otherwise it's not going to come up but i feel like you guys um you or your person has gotten to a place where they've surrendered control with their emotions anyway so exclusive graduate so i feel like you guys want a connection like you guys have leveled up or you guys um you guys are moving into the next phase of your love life in a way where you've grown you're healed you've evolved to where you can be in a stable committed relationship with someone um have marriage or have a life partner Removing the toxicity out of the like out of yourself so that you can attract a healthy relationship or your person. Um, so let's see. 
what can you guys expect due to your person's feelings towards you? What can you potentially expect in the near future? Okay. So, foolish. Not Ashanti. Yeah, some of you guys could have felt like you were foolish. Or your person felt like they were foolish for you. TikTok. 50-50. Power. So something with coffee. So like one of you guys could have woke up and really smelled the coffee. Like smelled the truth. Like woke up to some things. I feel like. So divine timing is definitely involved. And I feel like in the near future. Someone may take some type of risk. Or leap of faith. Um, to balance things out. With this. Some type of equal give and take. And I do feel like someone is awakening to their true power, to their truth of who they are. So, sacred resonates. May not be a lot, like a heavy movement, but it is a lot that's still in process of working and progress within self. So, take a resonates. And let's see. So, the lyrics that stood out to me was, it's hard to say I'm sorry. It's hard to make the things I did undone. A lesson I've learned too well for sure. So don't hang up the phone now. I'm trying to figure out just what to do. I'm going crazy without you. You're all I ever wanted. You're all I ever needed. So tell me what to do when I want you back. So this person or you, someone is, someone did something in the past. So this is like, I'm trying to make amends. I'm trying to make up for it. But take what resonates with you that stood out. Okay. My leg is asleep. You're welcome. <sighs> my leg is asleep. Okay. Let's be patient until my leg comes back to life. Because my leg is asleep. Alrighty. Let's see. 8156. Alright. This is for pile number four. And pile number four, yours is thinking of you drive myself crazy. Okay. Who my leg is asleep. So keep in mind, this is a general energy reading. It's not personal readings, okay? So it's not tapping into just one specific person watching. This is, um, you know, collective. So you have to use your discernment to know what's a confirmation or resonating with you deep down and when to just turn away, turn a deaf ear to what's not a message for you specifically, if it resonates at all. Okay, because there's a chance that it may not resonate with you at all. Okay. Or you guys can always choose another pile, you know, how it works, I'm sure. So let's see. Pile number four is person. Let's tap into your energy of your connection and your person. Pile number four is person. I thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, God, for your loving guidance, truth, and clarity. Okay. So, someone feels stuck. I'm hearing Deborah Cox. How did you get here? I don't know why that's coming up, but someone feels like they were not supposed to feel what they feel for someone, and they are trapped and they don't know how to come out of this energy. Or someone is trapped in another relationship and they have feelings for someone else and they don't know what to do with these feelings um there's scorpio energy here so this is like a very strong magnetic energy sexual beginning of time past life type energy where you guys could have known each other your first reincarnation or your first that doesn't make sense your first lifetime or something if you guys believe in that you guys could have known each other so it's like this situation goes way back and the resonance of that recognition could be so intense that it's manifesting itself as a sexual desire sexual chemistry sexual 
um, tension, you know, take what resonates. But yes, one of you guys have like a very seductive energy and it's like the other person kind of can't take it or you both have this for each other. But yeah, you guys known each other before. All right. Okie doke. How does your person feel about you, though? How does your person feel? How does pile number four's person feel about them? This person is unfulfilled. They're dissatisfied. They feel incomplete. Like, it's a longing, I feel like person is like upset like oh, oh what was me bored they're just like kind of feel like life is kind of dull bored they're disappointed they feel like they're losing their grip like this person feels swept up in these feelings when it comes to you like for real safe but they feel like again it's that home feeling like i know you i feel secure i feel protected i feel wanted in some instance at times and i also feel like they're this desperate energy is like i'm losing my grip i i don't know what to do should i hold on or should i let go it's that type of energy um it's a frantic energy um it's a longing it's feeling like you're in need type of thing so this is how they feel um it's something with the inner child that's being triggered i feel like to to feel disappointed or feel like they're, it's like a, like they feel like they're delusional or something. They really do feel powerless. And it's, I feel it's because, I feel like it's because they're losing control. Like this person could be used to their control and this connection is like something that they cannot control. So in a way, like their emotions and rather than just letting things just be or letting things flow or allowing themselves to feel, I get like they're trying to control it and it's like they're getting swept up in this energy. They feel lost, but they're looking at time or waiting on time to like pass because it's like, you know, that feeling like where something's missing and it's just like life is just like, okay, certain things are just passing me by. Like it's something with that. Um, while you're waiting for something else. It's like, that's why people say when you are trying to manifest, don't try to focus on when is it going to happen to where you're not being present in the physical, like present moment. This person could be like too or far ahead or just like, I don't know, you know, take a resonate. Yeah, they need to go with the flow with this, like just allow things, not just meaning allow things to just be like there's no movement or no type of effort because I feel like this person needs to temper their energy to know when, they're, when their higher self is guiding them versus when their ego is guiding them because it could be causing some type of stagnation or this imbalance. There's not a balance of effort and it could be because this person doesn't know how to go about this connection. Again, they feel stuck. They feel trapped in some type of way. Assert yourself. So they they need to assert themselves in some type of way. This person is all about you. They, like, this person, at least they believe. If they're not really in love, they believe that they are. Or that it's like, use just the bomb.com like that. Um... If you guys are in separation or you guys are just like not together, it's in reverse. So it's like they don't understand that this separation is needed or if they know that it was needed, it's like they're not willing to accept that. But again, sexual compatibility is a strong attraction towards you. Like maybe, you know, it's mutual. I'm sure you feel the same, but this person is very forgiveness. So if they did something to hurt you, they want your forgiveness. Kind of, they kind of, you know, this person could have slept on you, you know, in the beginning. Or they just thought it was sex or they just thought it was just like, oh, you know, 
they just look good or I'm just heavily attracted to them and it was much more than that so this person is trying to figure out how to put themselves together and how to put things together this person needs to focus on their self-worth with um, know your worth and maybe one of you needed to step away from this connection because self-love was not a factor it was like maybe this someone was too dependent on this again it's like a strong sexual attraction whether you guys had sex or you haven't with the passion card it's like you guys are like magnets you're like an aphrodisiac to the other person um when they see you or when they see your pictures or something it's just like automatic turn on you know <laughs> so i do see that you guys are in separation or you guys are just not in each other's space or maybe you guys have never been together but you you and your person or your person specifically because this is how they feel is being triggered by this connection um but they have enough optimism and hope to still want this or make it happen or manifest it but one of you may have needed to walk away from this connection due to self-worth. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yep. Okay, let me see here. Let's pull some tarot and see what's going on with your person and how they feel. All right. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So your person feels left out in the cold by you. They feel like you've made a decision to walk away from them. And like they're feeling like you're ice cold. Like you ice them out. Like Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Like, oh, I'm going to just, you know... My peace of mind, I choose myself and you guys to go homie or homegirl, whatever. You got to go. They feel like that's, what, that's where you're at with them. Yeah, eight of swords. That's why they feel kind of trapped and kind of helpless. Like thinking, I don't know what to do. Um... Five, yeah, four of pentacles. So, like, you're closed off to them. Like, you're not allowing them in. But I feel like the truth of this is, looking at this card, like, you can't really see it, how I'm seeing it. But there's a man back here. And it looks like he's doing some type of work. Like, this looks like a business building. Uh, it's blurry. You can't see it. But it's a man back there working, and the gates are closed up. So, it's like the quarantine. Like, certain businesses are not opened. You know what I mean? So... Or you're not allowed in, but that doesn't mean that they're still not servicing people, if that makes sense. So even though you may appear to be closed off, it doesn't mean that there's not something that's working on, like working behind the scenes. Or maybe the reason why you're closed off is because you're working on yourself. It does not necessarily mean that you don't want this person. For some of you, you did walk away from this person and you're working on yourselves. But I don't feel like it's in spite of um or trying to spite this person with the five of pentacles that could be that this person has abandonment issues that are being triggered rejection or you if this resonates with you king of swords so you have a pair you have a match so you guys could be mirroring each other like you feel like well they ain't thinking about me or such and such like it could be a mirror because you have king and queen of swords you guys are thinking the same way with the five of cups you guys could also be kind of like um feeling disappointed or discouraged right now about this connection as well actually and there's a clock back here in this card just like in the um the board card in the mixed emotions deck So you guys could both be like looking at timing or looking at how things are or just has anything produced itself within this time at all or am I just wasting time? You both could be mirroring each other, I feel like. 
So you both have five. So you guys both have something you guys need to shift out of. It's some type of perception, belief, or feelings that you guys need to shift. Because fives are change. Yeah. So this is a period of growth and needing to focus on stabilizing your energy. But I do feel like it's some type of um nostalgic energies and it's something with pictures too because there's a camera here something with pictures and i also feel too um you guys are just learning from the past right now because there's going to be some type of revelation that comes or an epiphany that's going to help shift your energy if you guys do the work the internal reflecting the more clarity you're going to get like Every tower moment is always like at the after you get out of that spiraling, you you settle back down and you're like, I see what that was about or I see why spirit was doing what they were doing or why I needed to be triggered. You get that clarity and I feel like that's what you guys may be going through. Shit. Okay. Um, destructive destructive habits fell on the floor. So I feel like you guys are letting go of behaviors. And stuff like that so if you guys are quick to pop off or your person is quick to pop off like when they're triggered like oh fuck them i'm just not gonna call them or i'm not gonna text them back or i'm gonna send them a long four page text message cussing them out like you guys have grown out of some type of destructive pattern or oh, i'm just gonna block them or i'm gonna whatever i don't know key their car i don't know have y'all ever done something like that i don't know some people you know have done that i've never done no crazy shit like that but some people get to that point well whatever the destructive behavior was i feel like it's being thrown away because this person is like much more in a lighter space and higher vibration this is an en energy of gratitude um having a more positive outlook on love so you guys may have let go like i said of a toxic behavior or some type of an addictive behavior, addiction itself, toxic beliefs. And I do feel like you guys want to communicate with each other. You guys want to communicate with each other or you guys could be grateful for the talks or the times that you did have or the times that you do get to communicate even if it's not a lot. Someone has shifted their perception currently is shifting all right let's see what do they want to you to know what do they want to tell you i get one of you guys could be a little like taking this separation a little bit better than the other one even though you guys are hurting to some extent i feel like one of you guys is taking it or utilizing taking your pain and transmuting it rather than sitting in it so you guys, this person feels like you guys are mirrors to each other. It scares them sometimes, like how much you guys, like how similar you guys are or what you show them, what you reflect back to them. This person feels this, you're on their heart and on their mind. They can't escape this. Like they have to feel what they feel for a reason and they can sense and feel what you're thinking as well. So again, you guys could be mirroring each other. And I feel like you're sensing and picking up what they're feeling and thinking as well. And some, like you have an idea of what's going on with them, I feel like, because you guys are in tune with each other. This person remembers every detail of when they met you. So they're nostalgic about you. They're thinking about you. This person um, could be like the type that does not like to show their emotions in front of other people. They don't want to look like they're, you know okay they don't want to come across as like whipped or you know sprung off of somebody you know whether they're male or female they don't want to come across like that especially to their friends or maybe to their family so they could care or maybe they're starting not to care like they have feelings and they're acknowledging them now rather than just trying to like play it off okay so let's see what the potential near coming future holds based off of your person's feelings towards you five cards okay well 50 50 came out so something with the number five you both are going through a shift or change tick tock so you guys are gonna i feel like you guys are gonna see the results of the change 
of you and your person because you guys are honoring yourselves and you're you're creating some type of healthy boundaries within yourselves but i also feel like it's a powerful revelation that you guys have like you guys are mirroring each other i feel like the changes you're making you guys are both making these changes and someone with the foolish card someone is just like i don't give a fuck anymore meaning like if there was too much care, too much worried about things, worried about how people think or hiding and stuff like that, someone's just going to say fuck it and um, the dearest wish comes true. So some type of wish fulfillment is going to happen in the situation as a result of being more lighthearted and like not caring about what other people think is going to lead to some type of wish fulfillment. So... So the song lyrics that stood out to me says, I was such a fool, I couldn't see it. Just how good you were to me. You confess your love, your undying devotion. I confess my need to be free. And now I'm left with all of this pain. I've only got myself to blame. I lie awake. I drive myself crazy thinking of you. Made a mistake when I let you go. I drive myself crazy wanting you the way that I do. So it's like, gets to a point where you can't run from your emotions or your feelings anymore. Um, and you just kind of have to sit with them and honor what you feel. And I feel like that's where your person is. Otherwise, it's going to continue to drive them crazy or it is currently driving them crazy. So, yeah. Or that could resonate with you. Take what resonates. Hope it resonated though. I appreciate you guys. I love doing these. I really, really do. So I'm going to do the next pick a card because um, it's a request and I got you guys. Cause I know you guys are going to love it. It's going to be hard to choose though. It's going to be hard to choose the songs, but I'm going to go with what spirit gives me, what spirit downloads clear ardently to me though. Because this person got bops. They got, they got hits and it's hard to choose, but I got it. I think you know, spirit got this. So much love as always. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.